guys, how are we? I'm Mark from Treasure Hunting Scotland. We're off on a wee woodland hunt, see if we can find any bottles. So far I don't see any sign of them. There were bottles close to where we were here before. So we're going to take a wander about the woods, see if we can find any bottles. Plenty of potential, you can see all the ivy behind me. And that's normally a good sign, because that's one of the things that thrives on ash. So yeah, we'll have a wee wander about the woods and see if we can find any bottles. Well here you can see one of the old railway tunnels that's here. Beautiful eh? One time trains would have came back and forward through this. Part of an old railway line. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go for a wander in the woods, up the path here. Through the woods and see what we can find. Maybe some old bottles, maybe not. There you go, that's a classic sign of tip. No bottles but snowdrops. Snowdrops are a classic sign of bottle dumps. And of course, I think it's jagged nettles as well. But, no bottles yet. I'm starting to see signs of bottles. Whether they're old or not, I don't know. I'm in the woods. Five minutes at this and then I'm going to move on for a little mudlark on the beach. And we're going for a little evening mudlark. I've been down, eh, down somewhere today. I'm not going to tell you where I was actually because I found a bottle dump. But yeah, we were out earlier today, we've come back here, we're going for a late night mudlark and we're just going to see what we can find, it's a low tide and uh, yeah, we're going to see what we can find. Before I go, don't forget to check out these two channels, it's Gone Detecting UK, link in the description below and of course Tyson Fury. If you haven't seen any of these two channels, go and check their videos out, they do some really good videos as well, so yeah. If anybody wants to check them out, it's Gone Detecting UK and Tyson Fury. So yeah, we're going to move on just now and uh, see if we can get any finds before it gets dark. And this probably will go into a dark video. Well here we go, here's a wee bit of pottery that I found. Look at that, it's got some leaf design on it, like flowers. I love a little bit of pottery, probably off a bowl or an old plate. This one looks like bowl or kind of teapot-ish. Also got this, look at that, a bit of an old salt seltzer. So we're on the beach and we're looking for finds and yeah, some people have had fun digging the embankment. Good luck with that one lads. There we go, I found a little clay pipe just lying on the beach, I've cleaned it out. There you go, late 1900s pipe, you can tell by the way that it sits straight upright. So there we go, we've got a late 1800s pipe. It's a beautiful beach this, look at that. Just in the sunset there, you can see the red sky at night. It's beautiful, I love this beach. I've had so many different finds down here and I absolutely love it. Had a little scrape about somebody's embankment pile there, there we go, look at that. Two lovely clay pipes have come out of it. Again they're blanders and again they're both straight upright, so yeah, both are 1900s pipes. Amazes me. The, the amount of people that will follow you about, it just amazes me. Well, I'm digging back through that embankment pile again, and of course I've got another two clay pipes. Thought we might have got something off the side of this one, but it's blank. They're both straight upright again, and I'm, you know what that means, because I've already told you twice already. Yeah, they're both 1900s pipes, and maybe later. But yeah, nevertheless, they're still a nice find. Well there we go, look at that, pipe number four, it's a clay pipe, this one has got something on it, looks like L LW, or LA, oh I know what it is, it's T&W isn't it, it's an old T&W clay pipe, hmm, maybe a wee bit earlier on this one, but I've seen these before here, and yeah, it's a lovely little T&W clay pipe. Right, so here we go, here's our first find of the evening and a super low tide and it went right out, look at that. Somebody's been digging all the embankments here. <coughs> Excuse me, digging the embankments here, so... Okay, the this place is going to get trashed in the summer, I can see it. This is a little candle hole. Let me know, it looks like a little candle holder. And uh, yeah, that's going to start me off on the super tide finds. This is day two. Next little bottle I found on the beach is a blender. I don't know if they're meds or just blank meds or something like that, but yeah. And it's just a blank little bottle, so I'll leave it on the beach in case somebody might come along and treasure it. I just dug this out of the sand. That's a 1940-50s sauce bottle. 
it's got a lovely hexagonal shape to it, hasn't it? That's nice. There you go. We got a lovely sauce. Mudlarkin's fun. Not in the dark, it's not, but yeah, it's spooky down here. Wonder if we'll get any free messages tonight, eh? Well, here's the next one out. Look at that. It's a cartons. Cartons HP sauce. Broken. Well, yeah, that's fresh out of an embankment as well. It looks like somebody's just been smashing the embankments and then what happens is the series of high tides recently have just brought this stuff out onto the beach but yeah there you go it's all of the little cartons hp sauce well here we go finally a bottle with something on it california syrup and co san francisco it's american isn't it san francisco yeah maybe somebody can let me know what was in that some sort of syrup or cough syrup or something like that maybe if he's no let us know well, i've picked this up you see old plates and that they come out the old dumps in certain areas and uh, yeah there you go look at that it's a leaf design plate beautiful i love the designs on these old plates they're old i think either 1900s or victorian but they're absolutely lovely well i've just dug this i don't know if that as uh, when I was having a wee scrape at the embankment as a saucer for a doll's plate or either that at the bottom of a cup actually looking at that I'd probably say it's the bottom of a little cup <laughs> there you go it looks like a saucer from a doll set but there you go it's actually just the bottom of a little cup well, there we go another bottle out Horlicks malted milk I think it says lunch tables there you go Smash, but yeah, probably contained Horlicks, which is, uh, I think it's a hot chocolate drink, isn't it? Somebody will keep me right. Horlicks is something anyway. I'm sure it's a hot chocolate drink. 